this is KV and this is the moon phase report for Aquarius. So for you guys right now, you're going to be very much in tune to that vibration of um, really recognizing what you need to let go of in regards to how you've been communicating, how you've been using words, um, um, how you've been like how you've been kind of sharing things uh, with others, but also about yourself. Um, there's still going to be something very values related with this one too. But it's really about, you know, it can be something of just really awakening to the, and this is, this is so everybody right now, but for you it's most important. And that always kind of makes sense for Aquarians. It's kind of funny now how the, the uh, it's kind of funny how the charts are always kind of showing now how, Aquarians are being rewired, you know, to really be this true full-on leader for the rest of us. So right now it's very much about your words and you need to recognize how you're saying things and how, um, where they're empowering and where they're disempowering and even just like, you know, they need to be so tuned to such a high vibration of all is possible, all is good, good things are coming. You know, you're going to have to really shift them to, even if you don't have anything going your way and everything has fallen away and you have no idea how on earth you're going to get through this, you still have to have this positive tone in your thoughts um, and in your belly, like true feelings of what you think that you really know you're safe. Like just be excited uh, for what could possibly be showing up. You know, really just kind of be like, you know, I might not have any more money. I don't know how I'm going to pay rent. I don't know. I don't have a job. Um, but still just like you need to transform your way of thinking so that it's like, I know there is something to this. And I know this just means something awesome is coming my way. You know, um, there's something with, with you really needing to rebuild this value system of trusting in spirit. You know, it's kind of funny, your chart is pointing to what the main thing is for most people out there, which is kind of funny, but um, but it does make sense. So really kind of knowing that, you know, looking back and seeing that you have always been supported, it has always worked out, you know, maybe not to how you thought it should have worked out, but it is coming together in a way that is um, for your best. And you just have to understand that, you know, when people are taken away from you um, and jobs and things you it, it can be painful a lot but in the long run you always see eventually that it was for the best and that it did lead to other opportunities that maybe you wouldn't have had had that thing not happened so you really need to be aligned to this very confident and safe space um, there will also be something uh, um, activated and shifted within if you're working on a writing project if you're doing anything writing based and it will um, it'll come from kind of letting go of things that um, could very well be kind of value related but um, really kind of like changing something so that it's much more about starting over you know something that's sharing the wisdom of having hope again and starting over and you know even if there's something from your path that you've walked now that you can see that you can share with others and it is about helping them kind of feel reborn again and begin again and um, that's really important in the world right now because we're going through this mass ascension so most people are losing everything most people are hanging by a thread and let's just kind of hope that if you're one of those, it's coming to an end. And now is going to be a time to really kind of uh, bring forward the wisdom that you've gained from this path and start sharing it with others. So it may be something like this, that it's like you're getting ready to branch out with this new thing that can help people um, with this path that they're on right now. So be open to that one because there still is, you know, there's all the attention is 
on getting you out into the world and being seen for that special wisdom that you have gleaned from the path that you've walked. And what's really great about this is, you know, I would, I would definitely expect for something to unfold over the next several months with this. So this is a longer thing, but right now, right now, right now, right now, <laughs> you're seeing what you really need to let go of and what's not working. But um, uh, Mercury is going retrograde two days after this eclipse. So what it's really going to do, it's going to be really beneficial for you because you're really going to start opening to all these things that you need to let go of with the ways you, things you've been saying in your head, um, maybe seeing yourself as a victim, maybe seeing yourself as having to struggle so much and for so long and, you know, really kind of re, it's going to happen organically, so it's not like you need to do anything, but it's going to help you rewire those thought processes that help you see this more as grooming you to be this wise old soul sort of counsel for the world in some way. Um, small scale, large scale, but still being someone that we come to for information, uh, for inspiration, um, for empowerment. So right now, especially with the Mercury, it's almost like you're going to go through this final thing now of, okay, now we have to rewire your mind. Now we need to look back and see where you're not using the correct words to really express who you are. And definitely what is going to happen is some of these thought processes you're going to realize came from your early childhood times whether it was feeling awkward in school and like you never fit in or you know having any kind of like um issues with learning you know even like with me like I always thought I was so unintelligent because I mean I, I excelled at math you know math I was like a genius but everything else I couldn't remember it didn't interest me, or unless it interests me, I don't remember it. But I always, I mean, I never felt like I really got bad grades, but I still never thought that I was intelligent. Um, but it was kind of like I had to learn a different way. And like, the more I've learned about Waldorf schools, I'm like, oh, well, gosh, if I was going there, I would have soared. But um, so maybe kind of letting go of some of those things that you picked up in childhood days that really kind of made you feel like you're weird and normal or not normal and something's wrong with you and all that stuff and it's really just time to shift this thing of thinking you're so weird and not normal and really kind of owning that we actually think you're the coolest people out there okay like for real like Aquarians are the coolest <laughs> like totally so it's kind of time that you kind of like start walking a little prouder with like you know, walking this path of feeling different is what groomed you to be this really kick-ass person that you are. So don't go um, putting yourself down and thinking like being different is bad because it's not. It's actually what's cool. So um, you might need to shift some of those things in your brain. Shift them, shift them, shift them. We need to activate them into a higher way of you really kind of owning who you are and feeling better about who you are. So that is going to be happening. Um... There's also, there will be a lot of, um, you know, with that value system thing, really there's going to be um, uh, a pretty long period right now of you, I don't even know how long, we'll just say a month, we, well, we're just going to call all of this several months, <laughs> so I'm not even going to try to figure out how long it's going to take, but you really are going to have a lot of kind of gate openings right now showing you different layers down below psychologically based that aren't for your best um, so it can be kind of like coming going through a phoenix rising time so feeling like all this stuff is falling away feeling like you're dying feeling like a parts of you are dying and just go through those because they are <laughs> those parts are dying but it really wants to birth out this much more confident powerful Aquarian spirit uh, that we can um, truly see in the eyes of um, that we can truly see you as this wise old soul being that you are here to express for us so right now there's going to be this alchemical changes that are really kind of, you know, it can be even every other day something comes to you that you're like, oh my gosh, and then that about me, it's so embarrassing, it's one of my flaws, it's da 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 da, and, you know, but just kind of don't focus too much on it. 
um, know that it's coming to your awareness for a reason and it's coming to you for your awareness so that you can sweep it clean and get rid of it and kind of uh, take it, you know, release this karmic hold that it has on you. Um, you know, and that's where it'll be great if you can get on this healing call because this will be perfect timing for you and the new moon. We're going to have one for the solar eclipse too. But to really shed this stuff and get it out of your system um, so that we can have those layers of you cleared and cleaned and then we can really, everybody will just start seeing you differently because of that. So when you do have all these layers of darkness that are hidden below that you're just burying and not dealing with, it does keep us from feeling your vibration in its highest way. So there's going to be lots of that kind of like doing surgery on yourself in a way and feeling like you're dying and feeling like these parts of you are dying. But, you know, just kind of think of the butterfly and stuff. And we have to have these parts of you leave. You don't need them. They're holding you back. And um, the more you can just trust that and whatever comes up, you know, it's kind of like that thing that says, like, whenever you accept your flaws, um, why am I so itchy? <laughs> um, whenever you can accept your flaws, you won't, um, no, nobody can use anything against you, right? <laughs> the moment you're like, yeah, I'm, that's why I love to share my flaws on here. I think it's fun. I've always been that way, though. I'm always like, yeah, I did the most embarrassing thing. You want to hear about it? You know, uh, I think it's kind of fun to be open like that. So whatever does come up that you want to hide and not admit and not deal with, just kind of instead really look at it with an open, compassionate heart and, you know, uh, realize we've all been through this. We've all done these silly things. We've all done these embarrassing things. We all make mistakes and just kind of let them go, you know. Does it serve you? <laughs> Does it really serve your future image that you want to have to have all these buried things that you don't want to accept about yourself? No. So just make peace with them and let them go and make this a really quick process. And the more you don't fight it, the more you can be like, oh, you know what? <sighs> I can forgive myself about this. I can forgive myself for this, the wrong things I've done. Also, you know, making peace with others, you know? So if it takes like reaching out to others and apologizing for these things that'll shift so much in your energy so um that's kind of what's going on with you and soon you know especially after the mercury goes direct the way you communicate is going to change so much and you're going to be very 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 aware of how you put yourself down how you diminish yourself how you cheapen the actual value of who you are which is top notch you know and um you're just going to start, like, being more okay with who you are. And, you know, there there is that need to separate being different as a, as a bad thing. Because um, I'm sure there's little pieces of that still in your system that, you know, diminish the value of being different. Um, instead of being different as seeing it as such an awesome thing, um, you're going to want to let go of that. You're going to want to transform it, transmute it into, uh, you know, being different as being the most awesome thing and not something that's wrong and bad and because that's all a lie. And so I think we're going to stop with, with that and I will see you on the solar uh, new moon eclipse on November 3rd. So, and I hope you can make the call because you have so many things with really releasing past karma, past garbage, past false things put into you. So this healing call can really help shift them out of your space. Okay, you have a beautiful full moon. Okay, bye.